Ho, ho, fucking ho, what a crock of shit. We all work for Santa Claus, we've had enough, we quit. Hey! It's Christmas, bitches! What is up, YouTube? I've got a Christmas shirt on, so that still counts as doing some Christmas shit. I'm not having that stuff in my beard again. I'm not having that fucking crap on because it was too hot last time. Too hot and I nearly died in here. There's no fan in this room. So I did $100, a $100 challenge, and it was fun. It was really fun, actually. It was pretty good. So. The first op shop, if thrift shop, op shop, whatever you want to call it. If you remember, I went in there and I spent $2. $2 on these videos. This blank videotape. I'll get $10 to $15 for these. They've been selling for $15 in packs of threes. So I should get $15 for that. So $15 out of my $100 I spent so far. We're looking good. But the op shops were shit. I was not happy because we're getting before Christmas. So I did some of that uh, retail shit that you call it, and we went to the toy store. Now, if you haven't watched the last episode, go and watch, go and watch me go to the toy store, because it was fun. Fucking toy stores are so fun. So we went to the toy store, and like I always tell you, I tell you, <coughs> don't smoke, kids, it's bad. Like I told you, you, Wrestling toys they sell, man. They sell. They're not big, fast movers, but if you know what you're selling in action figures and all that, and they had some good stuff there. So, six dollars each. Man, I was not passing this up. Not passing this up. So we had these sound slammers. What's this? You scared of me? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared of you, Kent. Pretty fucking cool. Okay, so pretty cool. These were six. Oh yeah, hey Roman, come on boy. These were six dollars each. Uh, this one would get me twenty bucks. Twenty dollars right there. Brand new. A lot of them. I looked them up. A lot of them have been selling between twenty and thirty-five dollars. Um, it depends which wrestler you get and all that. So Randy Orton will go for about twenty-five dollars on there, and that's it. I want to fucking play with them. Um, so, 25 bucks for Randy. Randy will get 25, and that's what he's been selling all day long. John Cena. You can't see me. My time is now. Hustle, loyalty, respect. The champ is here. You can't see me. So John Cena will go for 30 bucks. John Cena is very popular. I wish I brought two or three of John Cena because John Cena sells a lot for the kids. So, so a lot of the John Cena merchandise, if you find uh, the right merchandise, you get good money for it. So, uh, Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens we got. I oh, know you don't want to hear all this shit all the day. Kevin Owens looks, uh, exactly looks like one of my mates. Looks like one of my mates, Kevin Owens. Anyway, Kevin Owens would go for 20 bucks. And when I looked up The Rock, The Rock. Do it. Do it. The Rock is gonna lay the smack down. Say your candy ass. The Rock says, know your role and shut your mouth. So I've got two of The Rock. Was The Rock sells. Uh, six bucks each, man. Re retailing at 20 bucks. Six bucks each. Got two of the rock. Uh, the rock will go for 35 bucks, but I'm going to undercut everyone and put him at 30. So the rock, so there's 60 bucks right there. And the thing is with the rocks merchandise, the rocks merchandise you can get good money for. So always look out for the rocks merchandise. This was $10. This was 10 bucks. Uh, this WWE figure. Uh, but this one I can get 30 bucks for as well for The Rock. So making a 20 buck profit on that. So already, 
we make we made back our hundred bucks. We're kind of doubling it at the moment. What? Actually, I didn't add all this up yet, so we're going to add it up with a kitty at the end. And the last two things I brought at that store were twenty five dollars each. Twenty five bucks each is half of my spendings. It was fifty bucks for these two things. Half of my spendings. Yokozuna Elite. Yokozuna Elite. Now, Yoko, this is a very rare one, and I couldn't believe that it was in the store. Um, Yokozuna was awesome back in 1993, 1994. Uh, if you know your knowledge and all that, this is a rare piece. Someone has it for sale on there for $80, and there's only one on there. I'm putting mine on there for $75, undercutting them. Um, and it will sell. It will sell, and it will probably sell to America as well, because there's none listed on the American one. So when you find Elite Collection, Elite Collection will cost you more, uh, a lot more than all those other ones. Elite, uh, the detail, the absolute detail on these Elite figures is unbelievable. Um, if you're a toy fan, wrestling fan, doesn't matter what, but these Elite figures, the detail are fucking beautiful. So that right there will get $75 and it will sell. I'll take 60 but I'm pretty sure it will go for 75 because a lot have been selling for about 70 bucks like that are actually on there as sold. Oh no, and there's a little bit. Alright, I'm going to have to put it at... Alright, change my mind, I'm going to put it at 60 now because... Look at that. A little bit of a fucking tear there from the price. God fucking damn it. Fucking shit. This is... <laughs> See, I'm an Ultimate Warrior fan. If you remember all the stuff that I got up there, all those Ultimate Warriors and Hulk Hogan's. Look at this. Look at the detail on the Warrior's face. He's got the Blue Championship from 1991. The Scepter is there from when the Macho King Randy Savage smashed it over his head and he lost the championship to Sergeant Slaughter in the 1991 Royal Rumble. This figure is beautiful. He's got the trunks that he wore in the Royal Rumble 1991. This is a beautiful elite collection. I wanted to buy this for myself on eBay, but it's going for between $80 and $100. Crazy. So I brought two. Not out of my $100 daily thing. I used my card. And I brought two figures for myself, which I'll show you. And they don't go in this, they're my personal figures. But anyway, we'll show you this first. So I've got this beautiful Ultimate Warrior figure to sell. I will put it as $100. It will sell overseas as well first before it sells here. And Ultimate Warrior stuff <laughs> isn't cheap. Um, as a collector, I'm telling you now, Ultimate Warrior stuff isn't cheap. So I was so stoked to find this. Uh, I'll probably get 80 bucks for it. But I'm putting it at 100, so I'll put in the kitty 80 because that's what I'm expecting. It's a beautiful piece for $25. Absolute beautiful piece. All of that left me with $8 left out of my $100 challenge. $100 challenge if anyone wants to do the $100 challenge. $100 challenge that left me with $8. So I went to one more op shop, thrift shop, but I'm going to show you, because I had my card on me, what I brought myself for my collection. So I did buy myself as well an Ultimate Warrior flashback for $25. And for $20, which, oh my god, I'm not selling this and they only had one there. Um, but it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ultimate Warrior. So good, you would have saw it on my video. There's the Ultimate Warrior there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ultimate Warrior, that was $20. This cost you about 60 bucks to buy it online. Uh, they only had one there, so I only brought the one for myself. They only had the two Ultimate Warrior Elites, that's why I brought one for the haul and one for my collection. We had one more op shop to go, one more op shop to go, and we had $8 left to spend. We had 8 bucks left to spend, and I got these for $7. 7 bucks. Booty boots. Nice pair of Nike footy boots. I looked them up. I could probably get about 60. Um, 
because of the uh, CTR 360, whatever the fuck that means. I'm going to put them up for uh, 60, but I'll take 50 bucks for them. Good pair of boots, and I got them for seven dollars. Seven dollars, which left me one dollar. One dollar left to spend. Look at that. I got me some footy boots. I'm getting shoes. Are you proud of me? So they had um, an area where it said magazines, uh, magazines for uh, magazines for 25 cents each. I could only find three. I searched and searched for a fourth one, which left me 25 cents change out of my hundred dollars, and I let them have it. Let them have my 25 cents. But I found these three books for 25 cents each. Twenty-five cents each. Animals, uh, rocks and minerals, or something, and insects. These DK books uh, sell. Um, I looked them up, and they look like they sell for ten bucks each. But people have been shipping them for free, and I don't ship for free. So what I'll do is I'll lot these three up for fifteen dollars, which they will sell easily. Um, they'll still save some money if I lot them up like that, and uh, we'll get fifteen bucks for those, and they'll pay for their own postage. Oh no, pay for their own postage. I think we did all right. I think we did all right for one hundred dollar challenge. Please, I want any of you guys follow follow all Australian thrifters because I want all the Aussie thrifters to do the one hundred dollar challenge. One hundred dollar challenge, please. Do the one hundred dollar challenge. Ooh, all right. It was a couple of hours. I was only up for a couple of hours, but for my one hundred dollar challenge. Bring up the kitty. Okay, kitty. Oh, kitty. It's hot in here. It's getting very hot, kitty. How much are we going to turn our $100 into? $405. $405 from our $1 challenge. So $305 profit. Uh, kitty, that's not too bad, because I had fun at the uh, toy store, I really had fun, go back and watch that, because that, that's beautiful, oh, the detail and some of those two, fuck off, kitty, just fuck off, they don't want to fucking see this shit up here anymore, because it takes time to fucking sell as well, and bees aren't coming out of it yet, and all that crap, so fuck off, it was so fun going to the toy store, I had a ball, I had a ball, uh, the thrift shops, don't know. So I think next week, um, let me look at the calendar. Next week's episode will be the week before Christmas, and then the week after will be Christmas, the day before Christmas. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go thrifting um, anymore for the rest of the year. Uh, but I'll still do a ride along. We'll still do something. Um, maybe we'll uh, do an end of year clean up end of your cleanup sale, we'll do something, I'll think of something, uh, maybe uh, go find junk in the house and we'll sell that as a ride along, I don't know, um, unless uh, Kelly wants to finally come out and uh, do some thrifting with me, that would be good too, then maybe we'll go out and do one, but anyway, subscribe to all your Australian uh, channels, subscribe to me, put the bell icon on, I just realised if you don't put the bell icon on, you don't fucking get notified when everyone's bloody going on. I've got some of my favourite channels that are freaking go, oh, fuck, was that already on? I didn't know about it. Let's put the bell icon on as well. Alright guys, we're getting close to Christmas. I'm actually hoping I don't sell anything else before Christmas. I don't care if I have a shit December because the post office is horrible at the moment. It's horrible. I hate it so much. Um, so anyway guys, I news revolution. I'm, we're going to have a Fucking awesome, awesome new year of the bigger things and clothes and all that, and we want more feedback from you guys. Let's give us, uh, let's give us as many thumbs up as you can. Let's try and get 50 again. It's been so good to me. Um, like I said, coming soon, coming soon to a store near you. <laughs> all right. Subscribe, don't subscribe, do what the fuck you want, but I'll be back to see you again. Bye.